We now return to World's Strongest Three on Modern Marvels. When a man and his blender began appearing on the internet in 2007, the World's Strongest Rule book was rewritten overnight. Rappers refer to diamonds as ice, so I'm gonna push the ice crush button. It's called the Blendtec Total Blender. Wow, that's great tilapia. Suggested retail price, $400. And it both shocks and delights its hardcore fans by pulverizing just about anything. baseball season. And I've been told that some of the players will be using juice. So I'm going to push the whole juice button. A dozen light sticks. Don't drink this. The Will It Blend short films went a long way toward proving the claim. World's strongest home blender. Now I can work on my short game. Was it infomercial hype? Modern Marvels went to the Blendtec factory in Orem, Utah to find out. A strong blender needs a strong jar. In this case, a polycarbonate container with built-in ball bearings. A heavy metal blade is ultrasonically welded to the jar. The prime mover of this machine is the motor base. A multi-cycling alpha wolf in a kitchen appliance's clothing. Our motors all run at 28,000 RPM. The motor in our home unit, which is our entry level machine, is three peak horsepower and 13 amps. It would have the power of an electric chainsaw, a table saw, anything that would exceed the three peak horsepower rating. Very powerful. A strong blender can power its way through virtually anything. If an obstruction is too severe, the total blender's computer shuts down the motor before damage can occur. A typical low power blender connects motor to jar with a breakaway coupling to prevent the motor from burning up should the blade seize. Since its computer brain is on guard, the Blendtec blenders are built with a powerful direct coupling between motor and blade. That means more blending power. If you're not into pulverizing cubic zirconia or cell phones, you can micronize vegetables or make bread dough, something a $40 blender just can't hack. If the total blender can make it past the notorious engineering testing department, it will certainly survive your kitchen. Every day of the week and every hour of the day, we are testing blenders. We're testing at least 10 blenders at a time, and we just go to failure. The test I'm about to do is what we like to call the two by two test. Uh, essentially, the test is designed to stress all of the drive components of the blender as well as the electronics of the blender, allowing us to make sure that it's strong enough to stand any of the forces we could throw at it. Once the total blender succeeds at devouring a piece of lumber, it has to prove it can also go the distance. The next test is a kind of Boston blender marathon. The test that we're seeing here is the life cycle testing. We use this test to evaluate two things. First, the robustness of our motor unit itself. Second, the robustness of the jar unit that sits on top of the motor. We measure this test in terms of number of cycles. A cycle is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So to get to 40,000 cycles, it may take several months. Even after a few minutes, the blenders produce enough heat to boil the water away. That's why a pump system cycles fresh, cool water in and out of the jars. And in our testing, our motors will sometimes go over 100,000 cycles. No one said the strongest blender has to be the loudest. 
That's why Blendtec performs sound tests to develop new machines with friendlier acoustics. In a muscle flexing encore, Blendtec accepted our challenge. We wanted to know if the brawniest blender could take down one of the longest running shows on television. Will it blend? That is the question. Modern marvels in the world's strongest blender. I think I'm going to press the history button. OK, we're convinced. If there is a stronger blender out there, we don't know about it. Ah, the world's strongest smoke. Ooh, don't breathe this. Thank you.